the children definitely benefit from each other, um, just as children alone, not necessarily hearing or hearing impaired. Um, the awesome thing is when you come into the classroom you don't even realize that you have a child that has a hearing loss most of the time because they blend in so well with our students. Ashlyn was two years behind. She was identified late with her hearing loss. Um, she has profound hearing loss and we knew that we needed to get her into a system and a setting where we could get her caught up as quickly as possible. I like mostly a lot of things about school and I like the turkeys and chickens and the eggs and I like the turkeys and chickens too! Me too! We found Tucker, we met with them and had a tour and immediate, immediately felt like this was the place for us as a family and more importantly for our daughter. Tucker Maxson School is a school who, that was founded in 1947 by some families who wanted their children to learn to listen and talk. And there really wasn't anything available at that time and so they began the school themselves. And uh, now it has um, evolved into a school that the theme is deaf and hearing children learning together. It's kind of um, the best of both worlds for both the typical hearing and the children who are hearing impaired. Um, for the hearing impaired children, they get a great model of how language should be used when you're four or five and they get to just interact with children their own age and play with them and use the language they have. And for the typical hearing children, um, I think they get exposure to diversity and they become very accepting of people for who they are and where they are in their journey of life. The difference between a typical teacher and a teacher of the hearing impaired, I think the biggest thing is that we do the pull out time with speech and language goals. Um, but other than that, we do a lot of the same things because for me, I, I'm doing both. So I'm doing speech and language even in the middle of my lessons as I go and it's benefiting all of the students. Here we're more like a family where we really try to help each other out and work together on things. We really, care about our students and are always looking at what's best for them and trying to do what's best for them and give them the best education that we can. The school helps you learn easier and helps you talk if you, because I was born deaf and I couldn't talk, now I can. It's, um, it's like one-on-one, -on -one. like you can it's a very small classroom, so each of um, each of us in the class um, gets to um, have a turn talking. The benefits of having an on-site speech pathologist are that children get individual time with me to work on their particular problems or issues. Another advantage is that I'm here. Families don't have to take their child after school or before school to another site to get the speech and language training. They can do it right here on campus. Families are busy and it's really difficult when you have to go and pick up your child, take them to the audiologist, get them back. It can also take days or weeks to get into audiologists sometimes. So the benefit of being here and benefit for, for families is that there, there is not that, that lag time. They don't have to come pick up their child. We can take care of it that day here on site. So it really, it really makes their lives easier. What do you like about school? What's the best part? I can play block with my friend up in your garden. We get a good recess. We have a nice, um, a nice environment, kind of in this. Like our playground is really nice, and it's like a family here. It's like we go to each other since like preschool. It's 
like one big happy family. The strengths of Tucker Maxson that I see are that we empower these children to go out and have a strong future and they have a strong foundation that they've developed here and so as they go out they're confident in the world, they're able to advocate for themselves and be a strong individual among their peers.